Here are the steps for installing or updating Java on your machine using Google Chrome. First, make sure to close any other programs and browsers besides the one you're currently using. Then, in the address bar, go to www.java.com. Once you get there, you can click on the red button in the middle of the screen which says Free Java Download. And again, the red button that says Agree and Start Free Download. In Chrome, all downloads appear in the bottom left-hand corner. So once the file's finished downloading, you can click on it to open it and then click Run. It's going to start a sequence of dialog boxes to install Java. So you can go ahead and click Install. And once it finishes downloading the actual installer, you're going to get a new dialog box. And it's on this dialog box that we have one critical step. And that is to make sure to uncheck any boxes which say something to the effect of install the Ask Toolbar. We're not looking for any add-on softwares here, no other programs, just interested in Java. So make sure to uncheck any boxes like that. Once you do that, then you're ready to hit Next. And if you have not ever had Java on that machine, that will begin the installation process. If you already have Java and you're just updating it, you should get a pop-up window that looks like this, asking, are you sure you want to reinstall it? Let me clarify, you may get this pop-up. If so, just click Yes. At this point, it's going to start to install Java. That may take a couple to five minutes, just depending on the speed of your machine. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to the end and show you the dialog box you should get once it's finished. I'll do that right now. Okay, and there we are. That is the dialog window you should see once Java's finished installing. Once you see this, you can go ahead and click Close. Java will launch a new window or tab in your browser and actually the default browser on that machine, which may or may not be Google Chrome. And it takes you to a page asking you to verify Java, but you don't have to worry about that. You can just close that out and resume using the Internet as normal. You're all set to go.